like a craft beer through a pint glass. These are the gaze of our lives. A show where Lisa and Avery get out their gay decoder rings to decipher the gay alphabet and bridge the gap between the older and younger LGBTQ community and everyone fucking else. And now here are your hosts, Lisa and Avery. Don't blame them. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lisa. And Avery. And today on The Gaze of Our Lives, we have a special guest. We have uh, a friend of mine who used to work with me, uh, Ashley, and her daughter, Anne, who recently came out at the age of 10. Now, my whole thing with this is, first of all, you have the best parents to come out to. Oh, absolutely. Because I had to come out to your parents because I just met them, <laughs> and they were awesome. <laughs> and so, honestly, I, I guess my first thing for you is, what was your first thought when you decided to tell them? Um, I was really nervous at first, and she, I didn't really tell them. She kind of just found out. How did that happen, <laughs> if you want to talk about it? Um, so... I just kind of met her at school, and then um, my mom was there, so... You I, met who at school? Um, I'm... You can say your girlfriend. She doesn't want to say her <laughs> Okay, you don't have to say her name. Yeah. Um, okay, your girlfriend. Yeah, and okay. I met her at school, and um, my mom was there, so uh, I introduced them, and she kind of found out because... I was super happy, and I was oh. way happier than I normally am when I introduce <laughs> my friends. So she figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> and what'd you say, Mom? Um, I was really happy for her because she was happy, and this girl is a really good girl. So it's always nice to have you with good with good girls. Yeah. Well, good uh, anything, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything needs to be good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> true. Yeah, I um, didn't. Yeah. But yeah, I mean we. She's 10, so we didn't really want to blow up the relationship thing, yeah. but but we were really happy that she was open and wanted to talk to us about it, and it wasn't a big deal to anybody in the house, so. That's awesome. That's crazy, because to give you an idea, and I mean, I came out a long time ago, and it wasn't this easy, so you're very lucky, and you're very lucky to have parents that just are that accepting about it. I mean... You had an experience, too, that wasn't the best, I think, when you came out, yes? Yeah, no, um, you know, but to be fair, like, the climate I came out in was, it was obviously very different than what well, either yeah, of us came I mean. out in was different now, I mean. Yeah. And I think that's the really exciting thing about having Anne on the show is because I, um, honestly, I, I just really want to get to know the culture you're raised in because I have no grasp of that. Where I was raised, it was still very uncool to come out, and the idea of coming out was terrifying for me, and that's why I wasn't my full self until I was um, a good 18 years older than you are now now are you guys from indianapolis here no no we're from uh, further south actually that's where my husband and i grew up okay um, but we my husband is in the military so we've been moving around for the last okay. 10 years until he finally retired and we moved here and settled here in indianapolis now uh no actually uh mooresville oh okay okay yeah so a little further south okay so yeah i'm from the south side so i know mooresville oh yeah we used to play them in softball. <laughs> I'm from the north side, so I just know it's south. Yeah. <laughs> I know that I know Mooresville exists, and I know it's south. <laughs> so, okay, Ian, how, when, and how did you realize that you were gay? I mean, kind of when I just met her, because hmm. I really liked her. So you never realized it before that? Not really. And did she already know she was gay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So. I, so uh, your mom has always talked about how much of a um, ally you were before you came out. Um, and, that, and so that's like honestly the first thing I heard about you was um, Ashley said that you wanted to go to Pride one year. Um, and I and I guess and that's surprising because I think you were eight then, yeah. wasn't she? She like you're a lot younger. She was, yeah. It's um, a big difference, two years. <laughs> so like, our other? Do you have other kids in your grade who are like gay and like they're out, or is that like, or is that even rare for your age still? Uh, still kind of rare. <laughs> what grade are you in? I'm in fifth. Okay, yeah, we had two, and I just thought they were best friends because I didn't know what gay meant then. Yeah. Even so, that's yeah. that's incredible that you guys realized it and understood it at your age already yeah I, I think that's great I think she had um, 
I don't know if she knew or not, but we kind of suspected because she had, you know, boyfriends and mm-hmm. she was young anyway. So a mm-hmm. boyfriend then just meant like a we friend. have a label and, yeah. and we hold hands yeah. in the hallway. Whoa. I remember that. Oh. No, because she'd be like, oh, no, I'm not going to hold his hand. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. like, I think that was like, the most I did with a boy for like ever. I was just yeah. like, we can hold hands. Mm-hmm. Like we're like 17. But she just <laughs> never cared about the boyfriend. It was just like, yeah, we're really good friends. So sure. He asked me to be his girlfriend and we are and then because you didn't know any better that's what you're supposed to do exactly yeah right? I mean, it was very age appropriate yeah <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> but then when this girl came around she was just like lighting up and walking around like you guys like, still together like your yeah. crush good yeah how long you guys been together now um i'm pretty sure about two months. That's a really that's that's like that's like <laughs> that's a committed relationship. That's like I haven't I didn't have a two month relationship until I was like twenty two. That's like ten years of lesbian years too. Right? So like, you're way ahead of a lot of my friends, honey. So she well, must be a really nice girl, is what that tells me. And she's twelve. So oh, she's an older girl. Yeah, and she's a <laughs> she's a cougar. Right? She went for a fox. Yeah. So Actually, she's a furry. So she literally did go for a fox. That. That's Wait, yeah. whoa. 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 She likes to dress up in costume. Okay, no, so I guess yeah. that's what I was asking. So, that, yeah. so she also likes to dress up in, in costumes. So that's another yeah. thing about your, your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And she obviously identifies as a female still. Yeah. What What's her furry animal? Is she like a dog or a cat? Um, or? She's a fox. She's a fo- Oh, so she's literally a fox. She's literally a fox. That, yeah. I am on it. <laughs> so, okay, explain furry to me because I'm the old one here, you guys. It's an anthromatic animal or um, an... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I love this. Keep going. She's an anthromatic animal. I've, n- oh, I've never heard a 10 year old say anthromatic. I don't even know that word. This is awesome. I don't even know that word. It's an animal that technically does human things. <laughs> anthromatic. Okay. So you dress up like them mm-hmm. all the time? No, not really. We just do it for fun. They did meet at a Halloween Sometimes. Uh, dance so oh, oh and you guys what, you, what were you dressed up as um I did it technically as a furry but like a robot furry from a video game That's so cool. what furry are you now um I am a wolf you're a wolf, wolf and, and a she's a fox, fox. makes sense yeah. to me <laughs> right I get that, cause like I feel like me and Allie are like a lab and a husky, and that's what we own. Cause we behave very much like our animals. Okay. Except Allie, you know, isn't. Okay. She doesn't pee in the house. So I got that going. Did you have to hit her with a newspaper? No, no. That's see, a, I don't. I, I don't. That's illegal. If so anything, do she that, has to like right. It's like harassment or like yeah. assault. She puts or her in a cage. Huh? You put her in her cage. No, she puts me in a cage. I was gonna say I would think that's backwards. No, Ashley already knows who's <laughs> yeah. in charge at yeah. our house. Yeah. Well, we all me. we all know that. We all know <laughs> oh, that. Man. So anyone who meets you knows that. Anyway. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, so me either, so how often do you dress up in your furry costumes? Um, not much. Do you have a picture of the two of you in your furry costumes? No. I don't have a picture of them I'm together. so disappointed I went to post that. No. I know that would have been great for yeah. that would have been great for yeah. the webpage. We are actually in progress of mine right now. Oh, that's fun. Making so, yours? Mm-hmm. So what does oh. that process look like? Are you like looking for something that feels like you then? Um, oh, they're making them. They're making oh. them. Yeah. That's you so and her cool. are making them? Yeah. Like sewing them I'm and you, the yes. Mills family is so cool oh my gosh <laughs> they are they're so cool I follow them on Facebook they are so uh, cool okay that explain is, we'll go with cool so, I guess um, <laughs> your chicken coop we'll uh, get that later so first we are doing we are doing the head and it takes some mm-hmm. foam and fur so is it gonna look like and I'm only asking because I'm not I'm not sure it's like you know like when mascot heads they do the foam work underneath yeah. that okay cool so, so it's I like a real like costume fur. it's yeah, not yeah. just like oh let's put some stuff on that looks like fur oh, and no. just act like we're this no, person this isn't like ears and a little clip on tail okay. no this is a full, full that's yeah. what I thought and then next comes paws I'm assuming mm-hmm. right um, or do you want to do the tail paws next? or tail yeah and there are different types where you could do a full or just a head or do you want some husky hair would that help or do you no, we have not from a real dog you have plenty because you have a husky. We have a husky now. Yeah. Not from a real dog, silly. Yeah. Oh, you don't or do you do that? We, or do you? We use um, fake fur. I was going to say. You know what? Pete is probably a lot happier. Well, and that, the fact so. that some people may be allergic. That's true. Oh, uh, yeah. and you can't be allergic to a furry then. That's another bright side of being a furry. You yeah. can be like a, a hypoallergenic animal. Yeah. Yeah, her, her girlfriend is very talented in drawing and building. She built her own costume. and I You're was in amazed. awe of this girl, aren't you? That is so cool. She, do you see, see her light up? Yeah. Mom talks. Every time you start talking about her, see, this was the difference. Oh, my God. I wish 
that's so awesome. I know. I, w- I honestly was thinking the same thing. I wish I had had that at age 10. I, <laughs> I wish didn't. I had that period. I was pretending to have a crush on this kid that everybody else had a crush on. <laughs> that's, like, that's how I picked it, too. I'd be like, okay, who do people have crushes on? Yeah, he's like really cute. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do any of that. That's how everyone else does it, too. Right. So. And no, I know nobody like has their own original thought. Honestly, because right. I would have thought Bobby Moynihan was adorable. He's a chubby guy from SNL. Okay. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I want to go back to this furry. <laughs> no, do it. Yeah. You know, I, just, the furry I am. I'm so intrigued. So how did you figure out that you were into furries? Um, so really at first it was in fourth grade when um, one of my friends showed me what they were and I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. And then I started to try and draw them, and they did not look good. <laughs> they still don't. Yeah, but your um, girlfriend is the talented drawer in the yes. pair. Yes. Got you. She's also a very talented drawer, yes. and she makes animations. Ooh. That's cool. <laughs> the Mills family is so cool. <laughs> Do you know a lot about social media? We need interns. Not too much. <laughs> I'm, I Dang know it. enough. Okay, well. I, you'll get there. I, I, uh, I know about... YouTube and Facebook, and that's... Oh, well, yeah. That All I know is Facebook. I'm trying on... <laughs> I, I just I just got my Twitter open back up on my phone, and that was such a headache. I didn't Did you get anything. kicked out of Twitter? I, yeah, like four <laughs> or five times. Like I'm just going to reset my password. I don't even care. <laughs> I just got us a TikTok and my own personal one I don't oh. hardly know how to do that and yeah. but I'm trying I'm I'm old so so it's hard but anyways back to the furries <laughs> <laughs> you keep going back to the furries I can't, I'm sorry There's I'm like so many intrigued. Other cool things about the furries furries I know <laughs> but I'm intrigued by this now so how often do you dress up in it I mean is it a thing that you like a I don't know um not just for co- Costume parties or? Um, I just do it whenever I feel like it, really. Do you go out in public like that? Just go? Sometimes. Can you wear it to school? Um, or have I, you? I haven't tried it. Would they allow that, you think, Mom? Probably not. No. That's. I think uh, the most she goes, like, she wears, you know, those animal pajamas. Oh, yeah. She wears, like, the full body suit animal pajamas. She'll wear that to school. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's they, fun they still. Allow that. yeah. That's awesome. Right? I would still love that. <laughs> Right? Like, that's just comfortable. Plus, yeah, I was going to say, super snuggly. Right? Like, so, no class is uncomfortable. Could you be a unicorn and be a furry? Yep. Okay, that's what I would you be. Could, you could literally that's be, like, be. a dragon. That's a furry. But they have scales. It works anyway. Oh. <laughs> um, you, there's also different types of, like, just made-up ones. There's sparkle dogs, which is just, like, neon dogs. Oh, that's what I would be. I'd be like a neon green dog. So is there a group of <laughs> Is there a group, like a Facebook group for furry? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh like it's international. Like it's crazy. Oh, it's big time. Yeah. So like, are there like a lot of kids your age that do that? Because I that? thought that was adult thing. Well, it's just kind of like dress up. Okay. You know, like people still want to be their superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to be superheroes. I, they I, want to dress up as... I yeah. never realized kids yeah. did it. Yeah, it's just a, like a fun thing. It's not yeah, a lifestyle, like a really. Hobby, technically. No, like, no, well, because honestly, I had a friend who, like, would do it, but he was a... What was he? It's a wild dog, and it's not a hyena. It's a jackal. Know? He was oh. a jackal. Okay, mm-hmm. and he, like, and his, like, looked like it was laughing all the time. But his was, like, he, they, like, they just, like, hung out. Mm. Yeah, like, basically, like, him and his, his furry friends would just hang out. And, like, literally one time, he, they have this photo. You know the dogs playing poker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he had him and his friends do the dog playing poker because he had, like, <laughs> three or four other friends that's, who did, uh, who cool. were dogs or, like, types of dogs. They that's weren't cool. the same dogs as the photo, but you, you got the message when you looked at it. Yeah, it's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody's seen it. Sorry, I'm just intrigued by this furry thing because I've <laughs> never met a real furry. Well, and I just think that's cool that at your age like because that like allows a lot of a creative venue that yeah. I, I feel like i didn't have it like at my age that's so oh, yeah. cool well no you couldn't have gone out in public at my when i came out or grew up even at your age walk around in that they'd put you in a the mental institution probably i mean that's back fair. then they the stuff wasn't accepted as much well i mean when i was a kid you couldn't go out in your pajamas without mm-hmm. your parents oh, right well now, unless you were going so, to walmart yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well yeah that's true you know that's always been acceptable i think well, you know, but like even when I was a kid, like you know, even if you like wore sweats to school too many days, it was You're like, like mm. no, I never wore sweats to school. Ostracized. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, You're I wore it. sweats to school. I like sweats. <laughs> no, we. I mean, we really didn't wear sweats that often, unless it was for sports. Mm-hmm. Do you play sports? Yeah. What do you play? Softball. Tennis. 
Oh, tennis. Tennis is fun. Billie Jean oh, King. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Are you in the band or anything? Um, not really. No. I I know how to play guitar, recorder, and the Mills family. I'm, is so cool. I I have a violin, but I can't play it. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. bad at it. I have a violin. I well, I have a broken You're violin, 10. but I can play it. I can't play the broken one, but you know. I just. Well, she has a kid's violin, so you could probably use it. I could still. probably play that. It's probably the right size for it's you, really too. Um, I do play well, a three, it's the right size three, for him, though. I play a three-quarter. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not the biggest size. Rec- like, recorders aren't too bad. No, three-quarter mm-hmm. size violin, honey. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, no, no, it's no. just a smaller, it's just a, it's a, yeah, it's just tiny. He probably doesn't know how to play the recorder. <laughs> I do not know how to play the recorder. I bet you could play some Merry Little... Mary I could probably buns. I could do some hot cross buns all uh, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, cross buns. <laughs> That's pretty. Uh. That's all I can play on my tiny harmonica too. Hot cross <laughs> buns because you just have to move oh, your tongue a little bit. Oh, I remember. I remember your tiny harmonica. I know. I had to stop wearing it. It started causing a weird Jeez. irritation on my neck. So you're tennis star now too, huh? <laughs> She's a tennis pro wolf. Let me guess. <laughs> lesbian. Straight ace. No, well, you're really That's intelligent. Your face, you're really intelligent, though. That's why I said that. Mm. You probably she, don't oh, put the yes, effort please. in. Keep telling her you how don't intelligent th- she is and how she should have straight A's. You please. just don't put the effort in, do you? Um, I try you're too to. busy making furries. No. <laughs> too busy drawing furries. Instead of doing homework. Because mm-hmm. well, you're really you intelligent. Too, right? I didn't even know that big word yeah. you said. Mm-hmm. You yeah. cook too, right? Yeah. Or is that something? Yeah, no, cook. And we talked about one time wanting her own restaurant. Yep. Because Ashley told me that. Yep, her bakery. She wanted a. Bakery, sorry. Bakery. Sorry, that is different. Yeah. I can't cook. Can you teach me? <laughs> sure. No, she really can't cook. I, I, I came over I one time and she was having a Tostinas pizza for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Sears. She's just like, this is cooking. <laughs> pizza rolls. You have to cook it. Pizza rolls. That's cooking to me. I mean, I'm spoiled. I have Allie, and she's like, yeah. "What do you want? That's vegan." I'm like, "Just make it realistic." <laughs> yeah, we we rely on pizza rolls a lot. What pizza you... rolls are great, first of all. Okay, but secondly... <laughs> so I went to a gas stopped at a gas station yesterday because I was traveling all day, and they said pizza bites on the menu. It was a Casey's gas station. I was like, "What's pizza bites?" And she goes, "Pizza rolls." I said, "I'll take them." <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at the gas what, station, you know what you like, right? But yeah, what? What is your specialty to cook? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, technically, it is. Uh, it's beef stroganoff. I forgot the name. <laughs> the Mills family is so. Are cool. you sure you're ten years old? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm telling you, I, she's so much more mature than me. And she's she's just. And again, this all go back to you are very intelligent. You should be doing very well in school. Yeah, you should. As we, Good but job. that's the only time. You I'm put say a little bit of that's effort the only time into I'm it. Say it because I don't want to harm you. Trust me, you, I do. you I won't do. regret <laughs> but it. But that's I, your job. I am actually trying a lot harder, by the way. Um, I did not um, at the beginning, but now I am starting to get better. And I get, I, I bet you can guess about the time frame. When right when the girlfriend oh. came around. Does the Weird. girlfriend like good grades? Um, I don't know. Does she, oh. does she get, is she straight is A's? Happier. Oh, that does make a difference. Yeah, it does. It does. And that's, we have a lot of trans uh, people come on our show and it's crazy. You can see when they finally figured it out and they transition, how much happier they are. Oh, yeah. It's like a breath and, of fresh air. And I think it just helps everything in their life. Like school for you coming out as gay, being happier, you know, mm-hmm. and finding this amazing young lady. <laughs> I'm jealous. My my first girlfriend was not that much of a winner. She couldn't draw at all, and she definitely couldn't build like a well, furry suit. She was useless then. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Like I just I feel like I, I shortchanged myself. Well, <laughs> mine wasn't. It was older, and mom didn't approve because it wasn't the best mm. situation. So that you're you're really well. If it wasn't the best situation, that's probably well. You're doing well by mom approving and this girl being what she is. It sounds like you've got it on the right track already. Yeah. Not starting out with. I couldn't even cook or anything. I'm just saying she couldn't do anything. You gotta set your bar higher. I know. Well, I clearly have, obviously. That, like, yeah, obviously it's just, I'm just, you know, I'm also like 29 now. <laughs> <laughs> you figure out, you know. Everybody's at their own pace. It's quality, not. I had quality. to figure out I was a boy first. It's a lot of stuff going on up there. <laughs> it's true. Jeez, Avery, you're behind the curve there. Right. I already know. I'm looking at Anne's life, and she's like beef stroganoff. You know. <laughs> I know. What's your favorite thing to cook? Um. Beef and because I was off. like waiting for, because when I was 10, it was easy. Easy Mac and I burnt it once because I forgot <laughs> to put water in it. She doesn't love to make ramen though. Oh, I love ramen. From scratch. Yeah. Ramen. No, not really. From scratch. <laughs> no, really, not really. We, we do it 
we do it from the back because I normally just eat it because it's easy to cook. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I, I'm so lazy. I'll even, like, crunch it up, put the seasoning in it, shake it in. Heck, yeah. Did you know that's, like, that's like a snack over in uh, Korea? Well, see, I didn't even... Wait a minute. Back up. It, what? I wasn't poor. Ramen. I was Okay. Cultured. Ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, no, so ramen noodles, if you just, like, so you just break them up, uh-huh. and then you pour the seasoning packet in it, and then you, like, clip it back as much as you can, and then you shake it around. And you don't even heat it up or no, water it, like, or anything? Chips. No, it's just like a, yeah, it's like a chip. And then you can do your own seasoning, too, if you get some, like, barbecue dry Whoa. rub. Oh. I, I, Whoa. I, so I, li- I, I live by myself for a long time. <laughs> see, I, I can tell. I it's a ramen. See, I just eat out every meal, which is why I'm uh, as this, big as I am. You should try but, the chicken ramen packet. I'm going to have to go get me some of that. It's delicious and super easy. It's like but right which your one? cooking. Marchan or Top Ramen? That's right. There you go. I like, oh, I God. Saying, yeah, I didn't want to be wrong, and I was like looking at Ann like, give me the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I don't know. I don't, really, I, didn't, I don't really pay attention to what the brand is. because we only buy one. one. <laughs> I've, oh, fair, I thought I always saw one. Oil. Yeah. And Top Ramen's so like I thought I only sure seen one. It was really one. great when it first came out. I'm sure somebody likes it. Right. They I'm, keep making it, so. But yeah, so, so clearly people are buying it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Lisa with the Gaze of Our Lives, and this week's episode is sponsored by my own CBD line through Denver CBD. It's actually the first one in town here that has vitamin D in it, and it's also helping with different causes. The strawberry flavor 5% goes to Cancer Support Community. The orange flavor, 5% goes to the National MS Society. Use my code LISA20 and get 20% off your order. Yeah, but yeah, so, lost that. <laughs> right now, currently, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be a, gr- a animator for... That's cool. For my own anime. That's even cooler. Okay. So not like Pixar or Disney. You no. want to make do your own. Yeah. I Girls got gold. I, I, I know. Like, I like to do my own 2D animation. She already has a Facebook page for her animations. What is that? I would say so, so we can get we'll you. Put a blurb. Yeah. Um, Lunimations. How do you spell that? L U N I M A T I O N S. Okay. And I have not posted it on a long time, and everything there is super cringy right now. Cringy. <laughs> cringy. <laughs> yes, it's it's. Eh. It looks terrible. <laughs> Everybody's their own worst critic, first yeah, of all. That's true. Right? I, I, I know that all the time. It's, just, it's very true, and, and especially since you are the creative type, you you got to learn that now. Oh, yeah. You're always going to criticize yourself the worst. Oh, yeah. But she likes to go back and look and be like, wow, I sucked. Now I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah. But that's cool, too. That's always a good feeling. That's exactly why we I do that. stand-up. We do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, With yeah. our stand-up, yeah, for sure. Cool. Hell, I mean, we just had a show last Friday, and I... I rewatched it like the minute we got in the car because I'm like, I know that was good. Yeah. It was. It was a great set. Yeah. I haven't watched mine. It was not good. Oh. So I will. I'll watch it. Yeah. So you don't pitch that on the uh, show. Uh, I had a terrible set. Uh, it was horrible. It, it was for me. <laughs> but you know what? A lot of people didn't think it was that bad. It's like your anime and stuff. A lot of oh, people yeah. probably think it's amazing. And you are the one that see. And a lot of my friends were like, Sears, that was a really good set. And I'm like, Meh. no, because it wasn't up to my standard. And I think that's where you are. You critique yourself the hardest and just think it's bad, but it's not. Other people, I bet you if we look at it, we'll be like, oh, my God, this girl is oh, just amazing. Especially because I can't do anything like it. Like, I'm <laughs> telling you, there's no... I can't draw a stick figure. Like, no. most of the kids my age think that it's pretty good. And I used to be, like, um, the best artist in fourth grade. But um, I am in fifth and sixth grade school, and um, I have a few friends who could draw... 10 times better than me and I'm like oh, I always have room to improve and I could also still draw it. I could actually have a She's child so if smart. they She's I, so I, smart. I, I could have a child if it was like this. No, just absolutely. like that I, age and given to like me this, like this. I could have kids. Right? Right? Now yeah. I'm like dogs are great. They're not. Yeah. They're not like this. <laughs> They're not like this. <laughs> no, well, I don't think this is normal. No, this has to be normal. She's a genius. Well, I don't think every kid's like <laughs> this. You need to behave like I mean. it all the time, though, because now that we know you're this smart and now that it's out on, like, public air, You need to get know. your Everybody grades. Knows. Everybody knows. There's you no reason you shouldn't have all A's. Okay, not even A pluses. Just at least all A's. If you put a little bit of effort. cool. My gosh. Put a little bit of effort. What I miss? Animator. Ooh, I did miss that one. 
I do love Disappointed. puns. Disappointed. Oh my gosh. That I was missed like a it big, too. That's a, that was a big thing at the restaurant. We threw puns around a lot. A lot of excellent puns. Mm-hmm. Oh I my. still text John food puns whenever I find them. Oh my God. You are you punny? Yes. He can't say Oh, that. I'm not very punny. All the, sometimes. Puns are like some, that's like some of my favorite humor. <laughs> I do it to her all the time, and she's just like, Ugh. Is that like mom jokes instead of dad jokes? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like one time, John told me to go down and get something, and I came back up, and Scotty goes, what's your beef? Oh, and oh was, God. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. oh, man. Anyway. I just love puns. Good times. Did you tell your girlfriend you were coming on this show? No. You- I actually didn't know. Oh, you didn't know? No. Well, I didn't know until um, last week, which was in winter break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. So, we, did, we did ask you kind of last minute. But yeah. The do you guys thing is to share it with her. Yeah. Do you, do you talk to her every day and yeah. on the phone, or do you just text? Um, actually... You can text now, I forgot. Yeah, um, we had pagers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we normally do it at school, and I'm... Um, we really can't really talk over the weekend... Um, but over at school, um, her class is like right next to my locker, so we pass each other every day. Oh, I that, needed their locker. That, that was just convenient. <laughs> she, I, she wow. talks more mature than you do. I know she's way more <laughs> she mature handle, than she I am. Handles relationships better than you. <laughs> Shut up! I don't handle. I, you she's be quiet, Anne. <laughs> I don't. I don't because I don't handle relationships. I just don't have them. Because you, because you don't want to handle them. Anne's handling a relationship. Shut just up. Fine. And she's going on her own pace. So like Anne, you're sold. <laughs> 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 Who? Th- I'm saying she gets the concept of going at her own pace at ten. It's just I don't know why I'm bringing it up now in front of you. It's not like it like applies or anything. So. Oh my God! Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not good at relationships. Anyways, that's another story. So, okay, so you guys do talk and text during the week, though? Yeah. How her, well, are her parents? Um, I haven't met them. Yeah, are they okay with her being gay? Yeah. I so actually cool. wasn't sure, so I found her mom on Facebook and messaged her to let her know that Anne was going to tell her how she felt and ask her out. <laughs> so I wanted her to have a heads up because I wasn't sure, so I didn't want, yeah. like, a big ordeal. Yeah. I just wanted to, like, get it out of the way so she could get over it if she needed to. Yeah. But she didn't. She was cool. She was just like, okay. So, okay, so awesome. this yeah. girl knew she was gay already. And did you guys were friends or did, did you just meet her and you were just like, I oh. I just met her. Well, not really because I have this anime backpack of an anime that she really likes. And she saw me once in the hallway without we, us even knowing each other. And she's like, hey, I like your backpack. And that was it. Yeah. Until and, later. Yeah. And then on the day of Halloween, she actually wore her furry costume. To school? school. Okay. That was probably like the only time that you're allowed to. Okay. Yeah. And um, I complimented her with, with that. And I didn't even know that it was her who complimented my backpack. And then we just met each other at the, uh, in the cafeteria. And then... <laughs> it was all over. So did you... Okay, because you didn't know you were gay until you saw her and liked her. Yeah. But did you know... Because you didn't know her. Did you know she was gay, though, before? No. So... You wanting to tell her how you felt, or did you guys talk, and then that's how you knew, before you told her how you felt? Um, we talked first. Did you talk, and she told you she was gay? She mm-hmm. had sent home a very adorable note with Anne, so we, yeah. She said, like, she'd never met it's any so girl. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's so she, cool. She'd never met a girl as beautiful and sweet, and, like, she was so glad to find someone like her. Oh, my and, Yeah, and it had pride literally written all around <laughs> the <laughs> notebook, so we, uh, awesome. yeah. That's oh, my God, awesome. you guys are so cute. I, it's just, that's not even something that would have existed in my time. Even no. A, even a notebook that said pride around it would not have well, existed. we never even time. said pride. No. You know what I mean? No, we didn't even true. really well, do that. Yeah, but by my age, pride existed, but you weren't like proud to be a part of it yet, you know, especially at my age. Well, your age, but I mean, our Pride Festival was so small and they used to have them down on the circle and it was so small oh, wow. back then. And I mean, well, there wasn't a T in our alphabet when I came out. Yeah. 
Yeah, the tea wasn't even there. And the only tea that we knew were drag queens. Oh. Uh, yeah. Like, there like weren't. Trans men weren't really well, it wasn't. Old. It wasn't spoke about. I mean, yeah. there were trans people back then. They just, yeah. you didn't know about it. It wasn't a thing, you know. I mean, the gay lifestyle was hard enough to come out as gay back then. I mean, ew. I can't even imagine having this kind of... Wow. No, and that's funny because, like, it just so the, makes how me I smile found so out much. was Ashley shared a status just giving everybody a heads up to avoid some questions at Christmas time. Anne was out. She had a lovely girlfriend, and, you know, and, and she was very open to talk about it. And it was just so funny because I read that, and I'm like, the Mills family is so freaking cool. Because <laughs> I already knew the minute you probably told Philip, or the minute Ashley found out and told Philip, I'm sure they were like, aw, and we're like all about it. Because seriously, I when I met your dad, your husband, like he was just immediately thanks. like thanks I wasn't sure well you know I was letting you know that I acknowledge it yes. but well, like but is he he was sitting down but he was sitting down at the bar and he like already knew my pronouns and all that and he was just about it and then he was like do you want to go to axe throwing I'm like yes <laughs> yeah I totally want to go to axe throwing like, absolutely you know, just like my husband right because he, he was just wow. like, yeah like he was just ready because he you know because he wanted me to be like involved in like stuff like that so have you been to pride yet what have no. you been to the pride festival or prayed no at all wait so, you didn't go this year at all? Wait, there's a Pride Festival? Oh, we're, oh. she's not supposed to. <laughs> no, she could know that. Oh, okay. okay Wait, so, yeah, I so, thought she knew that. Oh, I my God. There's a was. huge parade. Yeah. Yeah. Huge a, parade. There's a and parade. And a festival there's all day long. And Lizzo actually performed at it this year. This past year, yeah. It's yeah. been getting like, much bigger headliners yeah. the last couple of I mean, years. and wow. it's it's big, huge. We, yeah. we wanted a to do a float, There's a lot of family-friendly areas, too, because like I couldn't say that families were always... Uh, we're great at Pride, but now it like it's oh, really, yeah. like a whole family, whole community, it's, it's, which is good because yeah. So you th- see a lot you, of things. And there's a lot of furries that go, mm-hmm. and then um, there's just all kinds of people at Pride. And so if we do end up getting afloat this year, maybe you could be on it with us. Ooh. Sure. And you can dress in your furry Ooh. costume. Sure, she says. Oh, she's got finger guns now. Oh. Anne already knows she's cool. This is the issue. Now I need to stop saying the Mills is cool. It's going to Anne's head. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's already grown an inch taller. <laughs> oh, you well, she stop. is. <laughs> All right. So we got a few questions. We do uh, part of our, our series. Uh, a part of our show has a segment wow. called Wow, thank the you. Gays Ask. And this is where we just ask you guys a talk. few like fun questions. You guys can answer them however you like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I going to start? You can start. All right, Anne. If you could go to dinner with anybody, alive or dead, who would it be and why? Um, She's so smart. I know. I, I know. I know. That's why I asked <laughs> so this smart. one. That's why I asked this one. I would go. Uh, does it have to be human? No. <laughs> Whatever you want. I would go with my cat. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. No, because in this reality, I'm assuming your cat talks. Oh, I'm sorry. It's. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's alive okay. or dead. She lost her cat in May. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, hey, that's hard. Yeah, it is. That's really hard. It is. I mean, yeah. Sorry. Uh, let's ask a different question, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting an anime answer, but I, that totally makes sense. Animals are our kids. I get it. Okay, well, th- this one's a little different. <laughs> if you could be a part of any show on TV, animated or live action, mm. which which show would it be? Oh, this is hard. Um, you can have a top three as well if you need. It would be My Hero Academia, one hundred percent. My Hero Academia. What what is that show? Explain it to me. It's an anime. Okay. Um, and the characters like half of the it's weird. The world half of it technically has superpowers, and half of it doesn't. The main <laughs> character's a kid who. Real, really like wanted one, but too bad he didn't. And then like one of the strongest ones in the entire world, um, gifted him. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, say, well now I, and now I ten I, one. You oh. like it? And um, I like anime. I just now, this one. Now he goes to this quirk school and um, yeah. That's cool. It is. Okay. No, that's a cool choice. Awesome. I like my question. <laughs> okay, now I Your feel like it didn't make her cry. I, I'm a dick. Sorry. I'm trying to brag. I'm just like really good at this interview. That, that, <laughs> we've asked that question a lot, and I've never got. I've never made anybody cry. <laughs> sorry. It, well, it's, it's okay. No, I am it sorry. Was my response. Okay, so she's so. Smart. How about a human? <laughs> um. If you could go to dinner with any human, alive or dead, uh, and don't cry on me. <laughs> okay, alive, <laughs> alive. 
<laughs> alive. You're really bad. That was you. That was your part of it. Ugh. Yeah, Way but I go. didn't ask huh? Anne that. <laughs> I'll go with my girlfriend, 100%. Oh. Oh, gee. I like this 100% thing, too. <laughs> I know, right? Wow. Would you, where would you take her to dinner if you could take her out on a date? Um, There's this really good sushi place near us, and we really like Japanese food. Hibachi? Hibachi. Oh, I love hibachi. I especially love sushi, and I would definitely go to this um, sushi place near us. That's where you would take her? Have you guys been out on a date or just no. talk? Just talk. Oh. So we oh. tried to organize it over winter break, but she gave us a wrong number somehow. So. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no. So you haven't talked to her all winter break? Oh, that's hard. <gasps> oh, it no. That's, really hard. that's like an eternity when you're... Yeah, it's right? just been together two months. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like half your <laughs> relationship. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. I bet so, you're really excited for school to get back in, which yes, is like... Yes, I actually am. <laughs> That's awesome. I literally never look forward to going back after winter break. <laughs> no, no, no. But wow, you are so cute. I know. I just, I can't get over it. And we appreciate you coming on the show I want, I so much. Oh, oh, you got no, one? I have a good one. All right. This one's for Ashley, though. Oh, no. Okay. You can relocate the Mills family anywhere. Mm. Where do you guys end up? Washington. Yeah, Washington State. 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 Heck yeah, I Looks, love that answer. It's, it's really cool there. And like, she and literally. Anne's like, we're going to Washington State. Well, that's where we came from. Oh, okay. She basically grew up in Washington. So that's where you guys spent the longest during mm-hmm. the military career. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but your girlfriend's not there. True. That's we the only locate, negative, right? Would she go with family. you? She's part of the family. Oh, there we go. There we go. I, mean, I, phrase the, I phrase my questions well. You know how just, we adopt everybody. That's so true. Like I, part I'm family. a part of the Mills family. Yeah. I'm going to Washington State, too. Well, I, I <laughs> don't Because we know can't that. leave everyone we love. Right? We have something for you. We have a swag bag for you. Oh. It's a fanny pack, and there are some gays of our lives stuff inside of there for you, too. Thank you. We appreciate you coming on so much. This was so awesome. And if we get a float, we definitely want you on it. I want the Mills family on it yeah I love all yeah the Mills family. Still in his kilt. The, oh I, you, you don't you don't get phil wears kilts all the time that's he's dad. so cool that's yeah. dad oh, yeah. huh? he's the okay. axe throwing viking man who yeah he's great i love okay phil. okay all the family on our float i'm the normal one <laughs> yeah she's, normal she's, she's what's normal she's the only one i guess <laughs> ashley's not normal don't let even for even fool you what? for a second I don't know what you are the least she, normal she's she's the most reasonable one oh reasonable there, is the right reasonable. word uh-huh and so she's smarter Mills than me family that's so really cool. bad when i'm the reasonable one though you know, know. that oh yeah i've seen that kitchen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, seriously, thank you both so much yes, for coming really on and talking to us. On. If you guys want to be on our show, you can contact us at www.laughs.life. There's a contact me page. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, or TikTok. That was all. You got them all. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> thank you, guys. This has been Gaze of Our Lives. Make sure to check out the gaze online at www.laughs.life.